Five ten at ten continues with no wait weather. Cool start to the work week yes. after quite a bit of fluctuation in the weather pattern this week. Seems like that. Yeah, yeah, much yeah. of a change. Yeah, hit and miss, and it definitely looks like we are on the cool side for a couple of days mm. with the more rain in the forecast. Right now, though, it's very quiet out in the FM area. Your temperature. A cool 62 degrees, 61 in Moorhead, light wind from the northeast. It's a dry air mass over us as well with dew points down in the 50s for many areas, 62 in Grand Forks and a northeast wind at 3. A quiet evening, clouds moving into the south and we do have a mid 50s for Oaks and Langdon, 57 in Devils Lake, still 64 out at Detroit Lakes right now and Bemidji, 55 degrees. So cooling quickly here in the early evening. The radar shows a lot of rain moving into the western portion of Dakota, southwest North Dakota, and really heavy stuff down in western South Dakota and up in portions of Manitoba. And we're seeing a few showers there as well. But by and large, it's this activity here that will continue to progress eastward during the overnight hours, bringing a chance of rain to some of our viewing area by morning. Here's your overnight forecast. Very quiet. We'll see clouds building out in our westernmost counties. And believe it or not, a few of us could rise and shine in the wee hours before sunrise with some 40s out there. Otherwise, low 50s for many. Mid 50s out to the west thanks to some building clouds there. 58 to start your day in Fergus Falls. Now, take a look at this. By midday, some of this shower activity in South Dakota will work its way through South Dakota, mainly along the North Dakota, South Dakota border. We'll have a chance for some midday showers. That's where the chances will be best. Now, as we take a look at the afternoon hours, this moisture will continue to swirl its way up. We'll have wind from the east and northeast tomorrow at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Up north, we won't see much in the way of rain chances for our Tuesday and temperatures. Well, they'll be about the warmest in the region in the low 70s. But down to the south, we're talking a lot of 60s and some not even getting out of the 50s for the better part of the afternoon with soaking showers, mainly Dickey, Lemoore, all the way basically along and south of Interstate 94. The best chance of afternoon showers. This chance continues to increase as we head into the evening. Up north, no rain. Down south, a good chance of very soaking, soggy showers. Not the brief, heavy thunderstorm type showers that we've had numerous chances to obtain throughout the summer months. Now, as we go into the latter portion of the day, the wind really picks up from the north, and the soaking showers will continue to swirl their way through the region, even into Wednesday. As we take a look at the big picture here, this storm system will stretch all the way from Wisconsin into the Dakotas. And as it continues to move into the Great Lakes region, Wednesday will also be a very wet day, especially in our eastern counties. Rainfall totals, by the way, once we add everything up, will basically be nil up in the Devil's Lake Basin with increasing amounts into western and southern Minnesota. Fargo's planning forecast Tuesday morning, cool and crisp, 53 with light winds from the east northeast that will increase throughout the day, 68 for your lunch hour. And from the lunch hour on, we'll have a chance of rain. But in Fargo, the best chance will be on the drive home, where the umbrella may be handy. Northeast wind gusting to 25 miles per hour. Elsewhere, temperatures cool. Look at that. Siston only in the 50s for the afternoon. That goes the same for uh, southern portions of Lakes Country. Elbow Lake and Wheaton also in the 50s. Elsewhere, low 60s. Up north is where we'll have the heat, if you can call it that. Still below average for this time of the year, but at least a chance at a few 70 degree readings. And it, at best, only hit and miss sprinkles throughout your day. Uh, maybe the rain slowing down some of the wheat harvest. Here is a great picture near Hillsboro. Thanks, Kim, for sharing the harvest picture. Take a look at this. Wednesday, windy and wet, especially in Minnesota. 50s and 60s there. Now, as we take a look at the late week forecast, we do warm up, so summer is not over. Thunderstorms return for the weekend as well. It's always a little something, but it's nice that it will warm up. We like variety. Yes, thanks, so yes. Still to come on Valley News Live 10 at 10, what Starbucks is getting rid of in its popular pumpkin spice latte. And speaking of coffee, how the morning drink could help you fight cancer.